This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you see the videos I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see man analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the day they released us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I did a video about the cash system, and I said that I believe that these bad actors probably have a non-prosecution agreement already in place. And that's why they continue to rob and steal, even though the cash system is going to start exposing them next week. I personally thought that they would slow down or stop entirely, at least the smaller bad actors anyway, because I know the big dogs, they're going to keep doing what they do. But here's the thing. I, I'm not going to say shills because there's probably regular retail investors who don't who didn't understand what I was saying. So I'm going to try to break it down a little bit further. First of all, I believe, and this is just my opinion, they put the cash system in place to appease retail investors, to appease pension funds, to appease institutions that follow the law. Okay? They probably had no intentions of enforcing any of the big, the big bad actors who are exposed by the cash system. Okay? Because the SEC makes money off of the fraud and corruption. They get to take their cut of the profits from all the legal activities. Think about this. The CAT system was supposed to be implemented since, what, 2010? After the Dodd-Frank Act? But it wasn't. Why did it take 14 years? You know why? Because the bad actors control the SEC. But since we've been screaming and fighting for the last three years, they knew they had to do something to calm us down, to stop the revolution. And the smaller bad actors are going to be in trouble. They are going to go after the smaller bad actors. You saw they, they locked up some guy like like two weeks ago. But he, 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 he's a, a, a guppy in, in an ocean with sharks and whales. So they, they're going to go after the guppies. But the sharks, the whales, they're going to let them keep doing what they do until the exposure gets so outrageous that they're forced to enforce the rules of the market. The DOJ and the FBI is going to be forced to act because the cash system is going to expose so much of the fraud and corruption. So I believe they pushed the cash system to pieces because they saw that we were exposing all the fraud and corruption in the market. They saw that we were sick and tired of being robbed. So they said, let's put the cash system in place to let the retail investors, the pension funds, and the institution that follow the rules to let them know that we hear them, that we're going to do something. Don't make it look like we're going to do something. But in reality, I believe, and I hope I'm wrong, I believe that the bigger criminals are going to continue to do what they do or figure out a way to manipulate the cash system. I mean, that's why they hire the biggest and brightest minds, the, the coders, the algorithm people, in order to find ways to cheat the system. Okay, but I believe next week and the week after that is going to be very, very volatile. I believe GME is going to run. I told you that before. And I believe when it does, I believe AMC will follow. And even... F-F-I-E, okay? Even F-F-I-E, I believe, has the potential to run. And I'm not telling you to buy AMC. I'm not telling you to buy GME. I'm not telling you to buy F-F-I-E. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm just telling you that once a majority of the fraud and corruption is exposed, the smaller naked shorters going to try to leave because they do not have that, that non-prosecution agreement in place. They will go after them in order to try to make us think that they are policing the market. 
But the big dogs, the ones stealing billions and trillions of dollars from retail investors, they might slow down. They're stealing a little bit, but they're not going to stop until they're locked up or until their license to trade is taken from them. That is the only way you're going to stop those guys. Because they've been doing it so long, they think they are above the law, and they are so embedded in our government agency. They're so embedded in our politicians that they feel that nobody can touch them. Nobody can touch them. So hopefully, I'm incorrect. Hopefully, they go after the bad actors. Hopefully, they're not insulated. And we know that FINRA and the DTCC claim that they are immune from prosecution, that they could rob and steal from retail investors and pension funds and institutions that follow the law whenever they want with no repercussions whatsoever. But guess what? I have in my lawsuit a motion asking the courts to not allow them to be immune from prosecution. And if the judge rules in our favor and FINRA and DTCC can be sued, I believe it's going to change the entire stock market. And it's all because retail investors got sick and tired of the fraud and corruption and kept the fight going for the last three years. Think about this. You're a criminal. You're selling drugs on the corner. And you know the cops are installing cameras all over that corner. Would you continue to sell drugs on that corner? Of course not. So anybody who's still selling drugs on that corner obviously has some kind of agreement with the police. Okay? Else he would stop selling drugs on that corner. So if these bad actors are continuing <laughs> to naked short stocks, to, to spoof, to do nonsense in the dog pools, <laughs> to engage in criminal behavior, even though, even though they know they're being watched, it's because they have some type of agreement with the people watching the cat system. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the big dogs are going to be brought to justice with the cat system? Or will they just continue doing what they do because they own the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI, along with our politicians? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.